Well, good afternoon, CTC Eagles. We are so excited that you are here and a part of our presentation today to explore more into business and technology. Um, I'm so far, it sounds like we've talked to a few people who um, jumped on the call or the WebEx before we officially started at one o'clock. So if you have just been joining us, make sure to type into the chat um, what your area of interest is, um, because we like to make sure that we target exactly what you're interested in. So we're not talking about things that don't necessarily pertain to everyone. So if you haven't just yet, make sure to let us know what you are interested in studying, and we will make sure to hit on that. So the first thing that I want to do today Today is um, just allow you to meet everyone that is going to be presenting. So I'm Angela Reese. I'm the online manager and program coordinator and professor in the business administration, accounting, hospitality, mass media, communications, logistics. Um, I know I'm forgetting one or two. It'll pop up in a second. Uh, professor Clemens can help me out on which ones I've forgotten. Um, but we are um, in, uh, in that department and um, I look forward to speaking with each of you today. I wanna make sure that you all ask as many questions as you would like throughout the time, as Bruce mentioned. If you can just put them into the chat and we'll make sure to address each of those. And if you are a call in, we'll make sure to pause so that we can see if you have any questions as well. So those of you who have uh, just started joining us. Thank you for typing into the chat. And just so you know, we have people from all over. These aren't just people in Colleen, Texas. We have Johnson City. We have somebody calling in from Germany. Um, we have people from all over the globe today. So thank you all for being here. I'm going to go ahead and ask uh, Dr. Clemens to introduce herself. Hello, everyone. It is so neat to be called Dr. Clemens. <laughs> I am a professor in the Business Administration Department. I'm also the Net Impact Coordinator. I'm excited to meet each of you, and I look forward to having you in my classes, whether it's lecture or online, um, and looking forward to working with many of you who want to start a business. Uh, that's something I love to do is see entrepreneurs grow and be able to make your own income and be your own boss. Thank you, Dr. Clemens. Um, let's move on now to Professor Clark. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I work in the office technology department. I'm one of the professors there. And um, we have two sides to our department. One is uh, non-medical um, and the other one is medical. Um, we have administrative assistant degrees. We have uh, office degrees. Also on the medical side, we have billing and coding. That is um, a different uh, lecture with uh, Professor Flaherty. He uh, will be either today or tomorrow. I don't remember what, what his schedule is, but if you're interested in billing and coding, and we are gonna have a new uh, program coming in the fall, and it's for um, medical insurance. It's the billing part of it. Awesome. Yeah. That. That's wonderful. Yes. Um, that is great. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Um, Dr. Hearn, um, Ms. Hearn, Professor Hearn, um, she's the program coordinator, and so she was uh, able to get that pulled off for our department and for um, our students, of course, and there was lots of interest in that um, as well as the billing and coding. But anyway, my side is the non-medical. I just wanted to throw that out there to everybody um, because we're really excited and it's good to see everybody. And um, I'll talk with y'all a little bit later. Thank you so much. And now I'm gonna turn it over for an introduction for Professor Owens. Who's muted? So, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Karen Owens. I work in the um, information technology and uh, systems department. I'm the online manager and professor. We're focusing on programming, networking, administration, cybersecurity, all the realms that allow us to do what we're doing today and do it securely. So talk to you soon. 
Thank you so much. So we are going to start off with some of our business programs that fall under this um, cluster of careers that the state has created for us. So as you have heard, we are each from different departments, except for Dr. Clemens and myself. Um, we are both in the business department. Um, but the way that the state of Texas has organized this are in different groupings. So we're going to go ahead and talk about, even if maybe there wasn't something that you put into the chat that has an area of interest for you, there might be things that you didn't know you were interested in until you hear about them today. So so we will try to focus on those things that we have seen in the chat. Um, but of course, we're going to um, hopefully open you up to some new programs that we have and also think about others than just yourself. You might be able to share some of the opportunities here at Central Texas College with some of your peers, some of your family, so that they can get the education that they are looking for as well. So um, starting off today, one thing that I want to do, um, and my co-hosts here don't realize that I've changed up what I'm doing today. Instead of going off of a PowerPoint, um, our marketing department hat is amazing. And of course, Bruce is from that department. And um, they have created um, fantastic websites for us um, and different pages so that you're able to explore different careers. And so I'm just gonna kind of branch off and do something just a little bit different today um, than I typically do. I promise I'm not gonna speak more than 10 minutes. I have my timer set as of right now. Each of us will spend about 10 minutes with you and um, because we can go down rabbit holes, trust me. So let's just see if I can get my screen working for you. And I want to share how to find um, what I'm gonna be showing you. Um, so it's not just gonna be a, I'm showing you um, some random place on the website. This is our homepage. This is ctcd.edu. And the best way to get to explore the different programs that we have, if you're wanting to do more later or share with someone else, is to click on this right-hand side, this Explore Academic Programs. From there, you are going to see, um, in case you missed our uh, video last week, I'm not going to play it for you in case you missed that session. Um, we do have a video, a general video. And then each of those different clusters, if you will, are programs program areas that the state has created um, are all listed here, not just what we are going to be focusing on today. So if you, like I said, have family and friends, make sure to share this with them. Um, let them see what types of opportunities are here right in Central Texas. So today what we're focusing on though, as I mentioned, is business and business technology. So as you can see, we have a lot of programs that fall under this area. I'm only going to speak um, again briefly on those that pertain to um, my area, but within all of our programs, just to help kind to spread out the umbrella so you understand how a community college works. We have certificates, which are typically one year. Some of them last a little longer than a year, or if you're working at your own pace, it might take you a little bit longer, but if you're going full-time, it's typically a one-year program. And each of those, in most instances, will stack into an associate degree. So you have a certificate, and then you start on the next degree. And if you can go ahead and meet yourself, unless you're speaking so that there's no feedback. Thank you so much. Um, so then that next level is going to be an associate degree or a two-year degree. From there, you can move into a bachelor's, master's, doctorate, and so forth. And so we have really two different types of programs. We have workforce, and then we also have what is designed for transfer. Keep in mind, though, that even though we have these two different pathways, um, we're going to help you find which one is best for you. Now, we might not be able to get down to the specifics today, um, but be sure to to, um, we'll put all of our contact information so that if something really triggers you and you had your heart set on um, an AS in business management, um, an associate of science, um, that might not be the right one for you, or it might be. So that's what today's about, to learn a little bit more about what that looks like. So the first program in the business department that I want to break down for you um, are actually business administration. So under this pathway, we have multiple degrees, as you can see here. So this AS, this Associate of Science that I had mentioned to you, this is really designed for somebody who has the end goal maybe of going to the McCombs Business School in UT Austin. Absolutely, this would be the path for you. But some of you have already mentioned to me that you want to start your own business and that you might be on this business management AAS. When you see AAS, that is an Associate of Applied Science. So these courses are those workforce courses designed to get you either ready to start your own business, um, to advance in your current career, promotion points in the military. Um, and these are all um, almost the entire degree is focused just on business classes. 
So you can take a certificate, then you can get that associate, and then you really can still go on and get your bachelor degree um, in business. So I'm going to focus on, though, um, entrepreneurship, because this is one a lot of people said they wanted to start their own business. So this is a certificate that stacks into the business management um, associate degree. So I do want to drill into this one just to kind of show you what this looks like. And as you can see here, you have um, a lot of the classes that pertain to really starting your business. So you have um, business law, you have an entrepreneurship class where you actually create your business plan. Um, you have small business management. You learn how um, to interact with people through our um, human uh, relations course and how to manage your business and your people through human resource management. So again, this is a level one certificate. You complete the certificate and then you can move on to that associate degree. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward because I also see that we have people in accounting and also in real estate. So I want to make sure to cover those programs as well as hospitality because that's in our area too. So yeah. those of you that are interested in studying hospitality management, there are very similar, the stackable degrees here to where you can get multiple specializations. That was a tough word today. Let me try that again. <laughs> specializations. There we go. Um, in um, different areas of culinary arts. So I'm not the experts. We have three expert full-time uh, faculty chef plus two part-time um, that are absolutely outstanding. So if you have specific questions, maybe there's something you really want to do, um, if, an area that you want to focus and you're not sure which one's right, they are the experts. That's who you go to. Just like for entrepreneurship, you would go to uh, Dr. Clemens and myself. So as you can see, we do have multiple um, degrees and certificates that you would be able to take. Um, the list goes on and on here with the different specializations that hospitality ha um, has. And as Bruce mentioned before we got started, um, we have amazing chefs who have been here for a very long time and built a wonderful program. So um, one thing about the business department, everybody that teaches for us um, actually has um, hands on experience in the field. So every professor you have um, has had either years of management, own their own businesses, um, been in the field of hospitality, in the field of accounting. Uh, so we actually have practiced what we are preaching to you. So the accounting technician program, as you can see here, I've got a few, quite a few people, it looks like, that are interested in accounting or have already started. Um, each of these pages, I kind of skipped over the fact that it also shows you your uh, potential career earnings, um, the growth rates for the industry. And this is as it pertains to our local market. So our folks from other areas that aren't necessarily Central Texas, this might change slightly. Um, and then toward the bottom, you will see that we do have, again, the stackable program here to where we have an 18 hour um, certificate that goes into a 30 hour certificate that then moves into um, an associate degree. Uh, I apologize for looking at my phone, but that's where my timer is. So um, we do have that program as well that will help you in the field. You can go and work for an accountant as soon as you start taking classes, basically. They might have certain criteria that they want you to check off the list before you get started with them. Um, but this is what this program is designed to do. And then from there, if you want to go into um, becoming a CPA, or I think I saw somebody that wanted to do forensic accounting. I think that's so cool. I think that that would be my next career, maybe in the future. I love putting on my Sherlock Holmes hat and trying to figure things out. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, this is a great path for you as well. Um, Professor Drake um, is actually the one who is over this program and who has many years of experience in this field. So um, that is our our accounting technician. I didn't see that anybody's interested in logistics, but I know that there were a few of you that said that you are military affiliated or currently serving, and thank you for that, your service to our great country. Um, but we do have a degree that really a lot of our military personnel um, enjoy signing up for, which is supply chain management. So that is a newer degree program for us. Um, and as they transition to civilian side, um, these are the types of careers that they could go into here. And then of course, we have the certificate stackable, just like accounting, this is Professor Drake also created this program. Um, so it is stackable into that associate degree, which then, then can transfer on to a bachelor's. And lastly, in our area that we're covering today in my last two minutes, um, the final one is going to be real estate. I did see a few people that were interested in real estate. 
Um, our, we have four part-time people that work for us in this program that are in the um, Central Texas area. They all have been in business for many years and all have their own brokerage firms. So there is a lot of knowledge that comes from those four um, individuals. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down um, Try not to make you dizzy here, but we do have um, the certificate and the associate degree. So this certificate right here, these are the classes that you would need to sit for um, the Texas real estate exam. So that is basically what you have to have in order to even sign up to take that exam. These classes will prepare you to take and pass that exam. And then if you wanted to continue on, if you wanted to continue developing your skills and thinking about more how you would um, operate your own sole proprietorship within um, another real estate company, or if you want to go work for one, or maybe you have dreams of your own brokerage one day, then this associate would be that next step to help you get additional college classes that would meet the requirements to sit for the brokerage exam. Um, as of right now, I double checked, um, even though I'm not a realtor, I did ch double check with them. And um, there is not a specific degree that is required to sit for your brokerage license, but you do have to have a certain number of classes. Um, I'd always thought that it was a bachelor's degree, but it's actually a certain number of classes. So this will um, put you in the right direction for if that is something that you are interested in. So with that, that is um, that concludes the business area um, that falls under this pathway that the state has provided for. Us. So I'll just uh, pause for a second while I am getting Professor Clemens um, PowerPoint ready to go. And um, if anybody that's on a call wants to just unmute themselves or if you want to type into the chat what your questions are, we can in answer those before we move on. OK, I don't see any just yet, but go ahead and type them in whenever you think of them. Uh, Dr. Clemens. All right, Dr. Reese, will you please do my timing and give me a one minute warning? Because, you know, once I get going, I, I forget about the timer. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So, like I mentioned earlier, I am a full time professor and I teach the business courses, but I have the honor of being the net impact coordinator. Uh, what's really neat is we started out as SIFE students of free enterprise and then we rebranded into Enactus and then we decided to move into net impact which more or less allowed us to focus more on our community instead of abroad. Um, so what I wanna tell you a little bit about is Net Impact is not just for business students. We're actually open up to all students of all degrees. Um, and what we do is pretty much look at what our needs are in our community and create projects to meet those needs. But those projects are also created within your line of what you're going to school for so that you can get that experience. We always start off our net impact meetings with a quote. So I want to share this one by Margaret Whitley. There is no power for change greater than a community discovering what it cares about. And you all know it takes a community to be able to raise our children in order to be great. So we want to make sure that we have a part of that. Next slide. So this is actually net impact headquarters. 28th year, as well as the 28th year that CTC has had a student organization focused on uh, business, entrepreneurship, on social responsibility, on corporate responsibility. Um, and so the impact has grown grassroots and global movement of just not just students, but impact leaders. I've had the honor of meeting so many CEOs, not just me, but my students have had the honor as well of meeting so many CEOs, COOs, C-suite uh, to nonprofit uh, leaders in our communities, uh, as well as abroad. Next uh, slide. So our mission is, Net Impact's mission is to inspire and equip emerging leaders to build a more just and sustainable world. And what we're doing is you as a student, we're putting you in positions that you can lead. We're giving you opportunities to make a difference. And I'm gonna tell you, no matter who you interview for, I have a lot of uh, connections with talent acquisitions. And the one thing that I always ask them is, what are our students lacking? And they will tell you is gonna be that real world experience. Now, how can you get real world experience if you don't have a degree? And then when you do get a degree, they can't give you a job because you have no experience. Well, that's what we do. You can actually sit down and say, hey, you know, I created a project aligned with, if you wanna look at real estate, you can uh, create a project that aligns with real estate, maybe helping low income families find affordable housing. Those are just things that you create from scratch. And then you, when you're in your interview, you can tell them that you're the one that brought this to fruition. fruition and here's the outcome. Here Here's the outputs that I was able to determine. That gives you experience. It may not be paid experience, but it does put you on the map. Next slide. 
And so our values, we view our work through the lens of collaboration. We work together as a team. Um, nobody is left alone. We don't leave you in the woods. If you're like, hey, I want to start a project. I really want to help this uh, uh, target audience. Uh, we're not going to push you out there and run away from you. We're going to be alongside you and we're going to have empathy for people in our community as well as we actually help college students as well here at CTC. We look at the most pressing issues. So my students have to do some research and on the call are on the call the video today. Actually, my vice president of marketing, I'm sorry, my vice president of yeah, of marketing is on the line, Julian Rodriguez. Um, and he's in the process right now of doing some research for a few projects that we will be conducting this year. Um, and we use you guys to amplify and help fulfill those needs in our community by influencing change. Next slide. So our chapter is built um, for sus creating sustainment um, in, our, in our backyard, pretty much. And we believe in fostering good ideas. Your ideas that come to, uh, to the table, we don't throw them away. We believe everybody has a great idea and can turn it to a project to make uh, have change in our community. We also believe that business as a force of good. Um, at the end of the day, I don't care what uh, field you go into, you got to have knowledge of business, whether it's for profit or nonprofit. I always tell my students, you're either going to work for a company or you're going to own your own company. There is no way in between. Um, so we always use business as an underlining as we do our projects because we need money to do the projects. <laughs> we believe everyone can influence no matter who you are, whether you're new to CTC, whether you are coming back, whether you're 17 years old and you're in the early college high school program, or you're 65 and you retired from the military. We believe that you have an, can have an impact on our community as well as um, yourself through this program. Um, we also remain always non, uh, we, are, we are bipartisan, we're not political, we don't take political sides. Uh, we just mainly want to help those in need. Um, we also believe in changing not only business and creating businesses, but we look at how we can attack uh, diversity. We look at how we can help the climate because we have climate changes and, and civic engagements. And we we actually just recently did a seminar with Hillary Clinton um, and uh, Bill Clinton on the climate uh, control. So these are things that we were you as a member can actually have part in. Next slide. All right, so some key focus areas that we have our projects um, geared towards is leadership, um, creating you as a leader, uh, whether you're like, well, I'm scared to lead, we will give you a small project and we will help you be able to uh, do that project and create that leadership experience. We look at civic engagement. Uh, we have projects that focus on justice, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I, that's what my dissertation was on. So I can tell you it's a big, big um, entity in the corporate world that you really can hone in on by creating projects that align with it. We also look at small business impact. Um, over the past nine years, we have, as that impact has started almost 73 businesses. And these are small businesses through the military program we have called Be Your Own Boss. Um, we work with the military spouses, retirees, and we help them start a business and then bring it to fruition in partnership with a uh, the number one business consultant in the state of Texas. We also do projects around social capital, impact investing, uh, like I said earlier, environment, our environmental control. And then we have projects dealing with awarenesses, um, anywhere from breast cancer to suicide. Um, we allow the students to um, create projects that will educate the college students on that. Next slide. All right, so just a little bit about who we are. We are not just at CTC. We are not a club. We are actually an organization. There are 400 chapters around the world, and there's 100, over 130,000 students and professionals in this uh, organization. So what this means is if you're coming to CTC and you're just getting an associate's degree and you're going to start your own business, you can actually move into a professional chapter out of Austin. Let's say you want to go for your bachelor's. There are several uh, colleges here in Texas that have net impact teams, and then you can go into a professional team. So you can stay in net impact for the rest of your life if you want to, um, because it looks good to an employer that you're part of an organization that's bettering the community. And then uh, on average, the chapters do over 4,000 projects a year. Next slide. This is just a snippet of some of the organizations and corporations that are part of Net Impact um, and that support us. Um, I just grabbed a few of them, but you can go on the website and see more. And what's really great about these are these are the internships and the jobs that are available just for Net Impact students. So it's not just for any CTC student. You have to be a member of Net Impact to be able to apply for these jobs. Next slide. So one of the things I ask my students all the time is whenever you do anything, time is the most precious asset you have. 
And so what you put your time to needs to be worthwhile. And so here are the things that are in it for you um, as far as being a member of Net Impact. One is we have scholarships. So I don't know if you guys are born rich. I was not, and I have school loans. So uh, my first two degrees, actually, I got scholarships and grants, but we have them through CTC. Um, our actual chapter has scholarships that we give out every year, as well as Net Impact gives out scholarships through those Fortune 500, 100 companies that I mentioned earlier. Um, also, the internships, like I said earlier, the companies that you see, not only that, but locally, I get constantly contacted about internships locally um, as far as having you guys get experience because of the reputation that Net Impact has in the community. We also are a resume enhancer. So a lot of times when you're going to school, you may have quit your job to focus solely on school. Well, you can put Net Impact on your resume to fulfill that gap. Um, and like I said earlier, jobs are available to you solely through Net Impact. We will give you public speaking experience um, you don't have to be a, a uh, leader that's going to do presentations to thousands and thousands of people, but we'll give you that experience to be able to lead people through public speaking or be able to stand in front of a group of people and not be nervous. Um, we also give you project management experience. Like I said earlier, you can pick a project that's already existed or you can create one from scratch. And the cool thing about it is that you don't pay anything to do that. The Professor Clemens, yes. one minute. Okay, uh, networking, uh, I guess said earlier, meeting the, uh, the corporations, the CEOs, graduation honors. We are one of the few organizations that can wear bling. We have a stole and a medallion we wear. Um, extra credit, a lot of business professors in our department give extra credit. And then lifelong friendships. I am still friends with my vice president who was a part of, uh, when I was here at CTC as a student, uh, my, my vice president of site. So lifelong friendships and connections. Next slide. So you're so excited. I can feel it. I know nobody's responding, but I can feel the excitement that you're like, hey, I want to be part of this. This is pretty cool. Great. Well, we have our first uh, fall informational. Um, it'll be Friday, September 3rd at 1030 to 12. It'll be in building 267, which is the planetarium building. It's a new number. So if I say 152, just excuse me. I have to memorize this 267. It's in room 101. Um, if you're interested and want information, so I put on here the uh, details on how to send me a via uh, email. So type in my email in your phone like you would text somebody and it'll come to my email address and I will get back to you, answer any questions or put you on the list to make sure you're there. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Clemens. And if you can't tell, she is excited and she's always excited. So yes. Um, it will always be at that excitement level uh, uh, if you join Net Impact. It's fantastic. Um, students absolutely adore being in the program and have come out of it um, just ready to uh, move on, whether it's with their own business or um, in the field of nursing. I know she's had nurses before uh, that are more prepared to be able to interact with their peers and the people that they will supervise at some point in time. So it's a wonderful program to be a part of. Thank you, Dr. Clemens. Uh, before um, you go, Dr. Clemens, let me, let me, can you uh, uh, say your, your business number there, your number there, because there are some people on the phone that can't read the chat and they may want to get in touch with you. So can you put the, can you spell out or just say your office number for them? Oh yeah, sure. My office number is 254-526-1788. Be patient though, because our building is not ready. So I get like email notifications for voicemails, but I will turn your call within the same day. Great, thank you for that. Thank you so much. All right, Professor Owens, or I'm sorry, Clark, you are up and your 10 minutes has started. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, Professor Clemens, congratulations again on being Dr. Clemens. How about that? Yay. Woohoo. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Um, if I could talk as fast as you do, I would get through this thing a lot quicker. But Dr. Reese is going to reel me in because I can talk a long time as well, just not as quickly as you do. Um, and that, that's, that's nothing. I just wish I could speak that quickly. Um, all right. So, uh, I'm in office technology and we do have, uh, different programs. Um, next slide, please. Um, so as you think about your careers, you always want to think outside the box, you know, um, if I go into this area or if I go into that area, could I bring two areas together? Um, you know, could I do business administration and office technology? Yes, you can. 
Um, a lot of our courses are interchangeable between the two departments. I was looking at um, one of the programs that you brought up, Dr. Reese. Um, it had our business math in there. Mm -hmm. And I think a couple of more classes from office technology you also have on your degree plan. Um, like we have a couple of courses in in our department that we go to y'all for um, different courses. Yes, ma'am. Um, so anyway, next slide, please. Um, so if you, if you want to get some fast computer skills, um, we're the one stop shop, if you will. Um, we teach computer applications and also uh, beginning keyboarding, which is a lot more than just learning how to use the keyboard or how to type. Uh, we teach formatting um, for business and also um, personal use. We also have um, a section that really can help the students while they're in college to write up papers in APA and MLA. I know Dr. Reese, they use um, MLA, correct? Or APA? Yes, MLA. Okay. Um, so those are two different writing styles. Uh, which we spend um, some time on in the courses to help the students to be able to write better papers and to format and uh, do your citations correctly. So um, any student that starts college, I just want to say, beginning keyboarding, even if it's not on your degree plan, you could use it as an elective. Um, it would absolutely help whenever you start writing your papers. Um, we also have the stackable uh, certifications, like uh, Dr. Reese was saying earlier, um, the certifications, they build on top of each other. You start out with five or six classes, then when you get that certification completed, you can move to the next one, and that adds probably another 15 credits, and that will give you 30, and then 60, and then your associate's degree. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, also, we have, well, since COVID happened, we have gone totally online. Um, however, come the fall semester, the Kate Center will be open um, for students to come in. And the Kate Center is a little different from your traditional classes. Students um, come in actually into the, the school and into the classroom. Uh, we do not lecture. It's a self-paced courses, uh, but the instructors are there uh, to help the students if they have any questions um, and they need some help. We're there for the students. Um, everybody, if you're medical or non-medical, students are in there. Um, it's gonna be a little different come fall uh, we, we've decided that some of the students like to be online and, um, because of work or whatever the, um, they're in, you know, schooling or whatever, um, do, being online is, um, the best way for the students to handle their schooling. Well, in the Kate Center, it was, you had to be in class. Well, we're going to have a program where you don't have to come in, but if you need to come in and speak to an instructor, we're there for you. Um, like I said, it's open entry and open exit. So that means that we don't, other than financial aid, let me put, throw that in there. Um, students are, they started their particular uh, time frame and they end at a particular time. Um, it doesn't go semester to sem semester. Once you get through with the class, if you uh, finish a class within, um, say, three weeks, which we I, we have a student now that is doing that. I mean, she's just flying through the courses. Um, and she gets finished, she can start the next class. Unlike semester bases, you have to wait for the next semester. Um, and also, like I was saying, for beginning keyboarding, um, if you want to use that for an elective and you don't 
you don't uh, say you missed enrollment for coming up semester. You can always come into the Kate Center and um, take the beginning keyboarding there. We offer all our classes except proofreading and editing in the Kate Center as well as online. All right, next please. Um, so these are some of the uh, foundation courses that uh, we feel that every student needs to take. They build upon each other um, as far as knowledge and experience and um, things like that. Um, so we have beginning keyboarding, I think I already told you that. Computer applications, business math, which is in one of your degree plans, Dr. Reese. Um, administration, administrative office procedures one and two. And you can see what that uh, entails is uh, soft skills, general office, customer service, management styles, um, especially customer service. That's a big, um, a big area that um, lots of people, they try to be in customer service, but that's just not quite their cup of tea. Um, and so in administrative office procedures, we touch on that. We talk about it, you know, what's good customer service? You know, um, if, if, a, uh, someone's calling in to our department for instance, wanting to know about a program, uh, whenever someone answers the phone, I'll, I'll use, uh, me as an example. Um, somebody calls in a student, prospective student, and I answer the phone. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Okay. How is that doing our department? Are the student any good having that attitude? You know, you need to come off excited. You know, this is office technology. Um, thank you for calling, you know, and you try to be as helpful to uh, your student or or if you have your own business, you need to be as helpful and customer service um, savvy as you possibly can owning your own business or working for uh, someone else. Um, we also offer advanced keyboarding and desktop publishing. Um, those two classes kind of uh, intertwine with each other. Uh, especially if you're going to use or, or you're going to um, have your own business and you don't really have that much money for advertisement because that's an expensive um, uh, field or um, an item that you have to purchase. You can do your own flyers. You can do your own brochures. Um, that would save lots and lots of money for your company, for you, um, you know, whatever the occasion is, if you know how to do desktop publishing. Um, I just finished um, the summer with um, desktop publishing in my area. Um, I teach that and um, the portfolios that the students do, um, they were really, really good. Um, most of the, the flyers and the brochures and all of that that they put in their portfolio, uh, they got them out of the book as they were working through them. Uh-oh. Time's Four up. Minutes. Okay. I'll hurry. Um, so anyway, they have to do a cover sheet. That's their own work. That's what they're going to say when they go out for an interview. Hey, I created this. This is what I did in class. And that there like Dr. Clemens was saying, that's your experience. It's when you create your own work. All right, I'll hurry. Next one. Um, okay, so we were talking about customer service, critical thinking, teamwork, communications, time management, which is a big one for me because I'm terrible at it. Um, okay, next. And on here, these are some of our students that uh, are talking about office technology and what it means to them and what they think about uh, the programs. I believe this uh, student, Angela, she's an office technology specialist, I believe. 
yes, office technology. And then if you'll go to the next slide, please. Um, oh, okay. Any questions? If I didn't uh, touch on something um, and you want to ask me about it, um, Bruce, he just put up uh, the phone number. And I don't know if you put up my uh, email or not, but it's, uh, I'll give you the short version of it. D Clark at ctcd.edu or office.technology at ctcd.edu. Either one will work. All right. Thank did, you so much. Did I make it? Did I make it? You did pretty good on that one. Only All right. about a minute over. <laughs> All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Now we're moving on to information technology with Professor Owens. Okay, hey, I'm in, unmuted and starting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Information technology. Obviously, we're doing what we're doing right now through these tools. We have an internet connection, we have networking, we have systems administration, cybersecurity is on the back end, programming, all kinds of things are working to make what we're doing right now possible. So that's the focus of our department. Next slide, please. Okay. These stackable degrees for the uh, computer help desk specialist and the web technology. Both of those certificates, they feed right into this degree plan. Um, as Dr. Reese showed you earlier, when you go to the programs of study at ctcd.edu, you'll be able to scroll down to the computer science and use the arrow to drop down. And you're going to see a laundry list of all of the uh, courses that we have available that include certificates of completion or degree. One of those two, most of these things are going to stack into one another. Um, so you'll get more bang for your buck. Next slide, please. This just shows you a range of everything that you're going to see within the Central Texas area. Next slide, please. Network Systems Administration. Um, this is a big one. It is a concentration of the information technology field. This primarily focuses on the traffic of information and how it flows, making sure it flows smoothly. Um, re maintains reliability and security, um, and it protects all of our networks. Next slide, please. Okay, <clears throat> network system administrator, the stackable certificates, um, they are 100%. The telecommunications and technicians focuses more on managing and configuring the hardware of the network, and it contains the Cisco preparation courses that some of you may be interested in taking, and Cisco will span nearly any field that you want to go into and help you just enhance your resume beyond measure, and employers will take a double take and look at you a whole lot closer when you carry heavyweight um, vendors on your resumes, okay? The um, preparations for this is 16 out of the 27 credits are specifically into the, ses the network system administration degree plan. All right, uh, the next slide, please. Try and move through that a little bit quicker. Okay, these are the typical earnings again that you'll see in Central Texas. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Cybersecurity, that is a biggie. Um, and we have several different um, avenues that we can go through uh, certificates of completion and degree planning. We'll get into that in just a second. Next slide, please. 
Okay, stackable cer certificates. Cyber Defense Information um, Assurance, the AAS, <clears throat> excuse me, 22, all of these uh, credits are gonna fold right into that uh, degree plan. In the cybersecurity certificate, um, the 16 credit hours, they fold right into the information technology degree plan. Next slide, please. Again, this is what you can expect for the Central Texas area. Next slide, please. Cloud computing. So what is cloud computing? Some people just kind of, it's, it's magic. Um, it's on-demand service. It is broad network access. It is resource pooling, uh, rapid elasticity or expansion. Um, and measured services, every network within a business, within um, a college, within the universities, it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. When you're using technology, your IT department is using every last one of these available resources. Next slide, please. Okay. The Network Server Cloud Administrator, um, these are fully stackable and they go right back into the cyber defense. So um, any time that you choose one of your degree plans, you're going to see a lot of the same courses scale in between each one. So if something happens and you decide you have selected network administration and you get about halfway through it and you decide this really isn't working for me, you can do a lateral and select cloud computing, cybersecurity, or whatever. These things will help you transition from something that you thought you were going to be interested in to something that you were finding a passion for. And that's what we want. Next slide, please. Okay. These again are your typical earnings. Next slide, please. Computer maintenance. This is where we're going to get into the nuts and bolts of what happens after we've done put something together and we're hoping it runs right next slide please the primary responsibilities are going to be maintaining repairing troubleshooting so once you get your hardware your software the networks and all of the things that talk to one another those are called peripherals things like a webcam, a microphone, your printers, whatever it is. These are all the things that help us do our jobs and do them efficiently. Next slide, please. This is our range. Next slide, please. And I think we are done. How's that? You did. Fantastic. You still had two minutes to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you need any assistance, our building is 214. We're right there on Bell Tower Road, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> don't give me the line. Okay. Um, anyway, we are the computer science building number 214. Um, you can find us easily throughout the websites. Reach out, contact any one of us. We'll be happy to help you. Have a great day. Thanks. Thank you so much. And if anyone has a question, if you want to go ahead and unmute yourself, or you can also type that into the chat, um, we'd be happy to answer those.
All right. Well, it looks like we don't have any questions just yet, or if there's anything from any other department, um, even if it's not something that we've presented today, we'll be happy to respond to any of those inquiries that you might have. Um, one last thing that um, we want to close on is um, our continuing education department. So everything that we have shared with you so far are four credit classes, meaning you are getting college credit for coming and successfully completing um, each individual class. We also have a continuing education department. Um, and it's a lot of the uh, departments that we have on campus, they have um, classes that enhance um, what you're currently doing or can even further your career through some of the credentials um, that they have that can stack into the programs that we offer. This includes things such as um, Six Sigma, project management, um, they they even have specialized cloud um, computing academy classes, grant writing, um, information on soft skills, Google Analytics. Uh, the list goes on and on of things that they have available as well. And again, these are not classes that are college credit. These are things to just continue um, your education and enhance the knowledge that you have learned in the classroom. So with that, um, just a few final reminders for everyone. And um, you can see that there's a lot going on in the chat right now. Um, that is included in this um, as far as our phone numbers, our email addresses. Um, those of you who um, are going to reach out to us, please make sure um, to let us know how we can help you. You don't have to uh, make a formal email to us. Just let us know what it is that you're further interested in questions that we can answer. And we hope to, um, of course, see you on September 3rd um, at the first net impact meeting of the year, regardless of what your degree program is. We look forward to seeing you. So with that, I will stop talking and see if anyone has any final questions for us or comments. Don't forget about the open house coming up this weekend. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna touch on that. Professor, we are certainly going to touch on that. So, all right. Well, I'll turn it over to you, Bercy. All right. Any questions? Any comments? Of uh, again, now's the time. Some of you are, are are on mic or just want to use chat either way. But while you're thinking of a question, uh, let me remind you, or let me just kind of inform you. Uh, some of you have already registered for classes. Some of you are about to register for classes. And and either way, how about some free money to help you with those classes? So if you're interested in some free money. Uh, we've got a, a grant available for you through the American Resource uh, Plan, and it's the, the link is right there in the chat. And you can get up to uh, $2,000 if you are uh, taking at least 12 credit hours, full-time student. So if you've already registered, you can recoup that money that you paid for your registration and, and get that money back. Or if you're about to register, again, you, your check probably won't get here on time for registration. So either way, you'll, you'll get the money back. And if you're taking like three credit hours going part time, you're up eligible for up to $1,000. So it's free money, guys. So take advantage of that. And if you're unable to see the chat, if you'll go to ctcd.edu, the, the main CTC webpage, at the very top of the page in red letters, you'll see a COVID-19 return to campus. If you click that link, it will take you to uh, the, our, our return plan. And the very first item is financial assistance. You click on that and there are a list of three or four grants plus our scholarships that you are you can apply for. Everything is online and and there's the eligibility requirements, frequently asked questions section. So if you have questions, you can probably find your answer in that section. But again, I encourage you to apply for each and every one of those grants. And again, free money to help you go to school. And, and that ARP grant is not necessarily, you know, recoup. It can go right to help you pay for your car if you need to. It can be used for food, it can be used for housing, it can be used for childcare. So again, take advantage of that free money up to $2,000, okay? Lastly, lastly, yeah, yes, Professor Clements, you can get that. You just have to take classes. You just have to be enrolled in the fall semester to qualify. <laughs> but lastly, as uh, Professor Owen said, we have an open house this Saturday, uh, August 14th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it's a great opportunity for you to tour the campus if you've never been here. It's a great way to kind of plan and map out your your day as you go from class to class and you can kind of figure out if I'm taking an eight o'clock or a 930 class here, my next class is here, then you can kind of walk around the campus and figure that out. We'll have some shuttles to help you get from building to building. Also, there'll be assistance with registration, assistance with advising, 
uh, and many other student services will be around. Academic Studio will be there to talk about tutoring. The library will be open so you can see all the resources they have, not to mention all the activities and games and events that each one of these departments will, will have for you. So we've got a lot of fun things planned for that day. So it's not just going to be information, even though the information is important. We want you to have some fun out here too. And so we'll have some music and uh, with the DJ, we've got a hot dog lunch for you. We've got a, if you're into the bounce house or uh, <laughs> or a rock climbing wall, we'll have that for you as well. So, uh, so the entire family is invited to come out. So we'll have something for the entire family. But again, a golden opportunity to meet some of the faculty members, kind of tour some of the buildings that you're going to be using, especially uh, if you're in another field like EMT or nursing, those sim labs will be open so you can see what they're doing. Culinary, the culinary labs will be open so you can see some demonstrations there. You can meet uh, some of the business professors that are going to be in the building there. So again, something for everybody. So we encourage you 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. sometime during that day to Saturday to come out and be a part of the open house. So, all right, I rambled on enough. So now I am asking last call for questions. <laughs> I have a question. Go for it. Can you post the link to the um, CTC Live for the Blackboard training? Um, those of you who are new to CTC and are new to online learning um, and the word Blackboard scares you or you didn't even know what it was, that is our virtual classroom. So anybody taking online blended in most of our lecture courses will have to know how to use Blackboard. So if you would like to learn how to dig into it, dive into it, the best practices of it. Um, we would love for you to join us on September the 1st, I believe it is. Yes. Should have probably looked at that first. Thank you. September 1st. Do you know what time, Bruce, off the top of your I head? I sure do. You are scheduled for 2 o'clock. Okay, perfect. So September 1st, 2 o'clock, Bruce just put the link. Um, so if you want to save that so that you can see us back here um, on September 1st at 2, um, I will be driving you through Blackboard. Yeah, and for those of you who are calling in and can't see the link, the session will be streamed live on Facebook, on the CTC Facebook page. So you can go there as well and watch it just as you would if you used the, uh, the WebEx link. So there you go. Tune into CTC Facebook. All right, so last call again for questions, comments. So I do, I have a question that just came in um, that just came to me, but I'll address it to the group in case um, more than one person has the same question. Uh, for culinary arts, those of you that are interested in studying that for the classroom courses, um, I am honestly, I do not know if you have to wear your uniform on the first day or not. I don't think you have to do it on the first day. I think they kind of give you a checklist of everything that you need. And I think you can buy uh, your uniform, your aprons and all that stuff through the CTC bookstore. So. So, yeah, I, I don't think they require it on the 1st day. Thank you, sir. Yeah, another question just came in. Hi, Corey. How you doing, buddy? Does the BMGT 2370 management applications require a book? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Do not buy whatever it says on the list. Uh, the, we have to update that, but um, you can buy. It's a really good book. I still have mine, um, but you do not. I will provide you with all learning material. Great, great question, Corey. Anything else? Now's the time, folks. We've got the faculty members here, and we've got our student life director here online to answer questions, and uh, our student success person, Charlotte, here to answer some questions. Could you get the uniform in person, or do you have to do all of that online? The bookstore is open for walk-in, so uh, you can get it in person. Yes. Great questions, everyone. Yes, indeed. I'm so glad that y'all feel comfortable asking, because um, there are times that we have crickets in the chat. Yeah, and, and that's one of the keys here for, for the faculty members and for any of us here um, is to know what you're thinking. If you're struggling along the way or if you don't know, you know the answer to something, please feel free to ask. Don't be shy. Ask your faculty members, whoever the professor is, ask them and they will get you the assistance that you need. Or you can contact any of the student life or contact me and I will put my information out there as well. And I don't have all the answers, but I certainly know the people to ask and get you the answer. So if there's something that you need specifically, questions about advising, registration, or anything else, or tutoring, or how do I get textbook lending, any of those questions, we've got you covered here. 
Uh, let's so, see if something else just came in. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so accounting 1311, um, off the top of my head, I cannot recall if that's computerized accounting or not, the QuickBooks course. If that is the, and I can look it up if I need to, um, but there is the course that uses QuickBooks. So we do have a grant um, that is paying for your ebook and for actually your student access to QuickBooks. So you will not have to purchase the materials for that class. Let me just look up real quick because honestly, I can't remember if that is the correct class. So give me just a second while they're answering other questions. Okay, and the next question, is the project management certificate offered online? That is a continuing education course. Um, Dr. Clemens, are you aware of if they're doing it solely online? Um, in the course catalog, when I looked at it for uh, uh, someone earlier today, um, it was offered um, online, but I don't know if it's changed for the fall. So you'd have to definitely look into that. And I'm almost to the to be able to answer the question. I apologize. So accounting 1311 is. Introduction to computerized accounting. So, yes, that is the course that um, does. Um, use QuickBooks. So for now, until the money runs out, it's a free access. Unless you want the hard copy. If you want a hard copy, you'll have to pay for that yourself. The Blackboard session is going to be on September the 1st at 2 o'clock. Correct? Yes. Okay. yes, that's correct. And again, oh, um, I don't, I, there it is. I know I put it in okay. the chat. I'll put the uh, the link in there one more time. But again, you can stream it on the CTC Facebook page at the same time and or join a WebEx like we're doing here. And I, I prefer you're in the WebEx because that's a lot easier for you to ask questions that way. But that's just my personal preference. So there is the link once again. So. So we have a question about the entrepreneurship and the um, business management AAS. Yes, absolutely. You can be on the business management AAS degree program and take first the classes that are on the entrepreneurship certificate program because they are stackable except for one class. Um, it is a personal finance course, which we do suggest um, people take, especially those that are going into um, starting their own businesses. So Leilani or anybody else that has that wants to know more about that, if you will send me an email, I will email you back. I get this question all the time about the specific degree program. So I've got it pretty much um, well um, laid out. So if you can send me an email to Angela.Reese and that's with an S like Reese's Pieces, um, Angela.Reese at CTC, thank you so much, Brucey, uh, dot ctcd.edu. Um, send me an email and I will email you back with all of the information that you need for that. Great. We appreciate the question. You guys are awesome with the question. So again, that's why we are here and that's why we do these sessions to get those questions answered. So, uh, so uh, now again is the time before we wrap it up, so. You are most welcome. All right, uh, as I do with the CTC lives, I know this is not my program. This is Maricelli's program. I'm sorry, Maricelli, I'm kind of like taking over here, but uh, Angela, uh, any last words of wisdom for our students here? Ask questions. I know we've said it, but make sure please, anytime you're confused um, about anything, whether it is now six months or in a year, please be sure to ask us. We're here to support you. Um, the other thing is please read the syllabus. Um, everything you need to know about your course, that is your roadmap, your plan for each individual course. Um, yes, there's some information that is in the exact same in all the classes, such as our policies um, on extensions or the fact that there's learning outcomes there or the course contract. Um, but there are things that are specific to our classes that you want to make sure that you have in place. Um, just the other day, yesterday, I talked to a student the course ends, what's today, Wednesday, the course ends Friday, um, completed all of the wrong assignments, nothing that I had assigned um, because they didn't read the syllabus. So they were guessing on which assignments to do out of the book and um, th there weren't anything that, that I had assigned. Um, and uh, like I said, everything is laid out for you. So if you have a question, be sure to ask um, and be sure to revisit the syllabus frequently. Good advice. How about you, Professor Clemens? Uh, just to mimic exactly what Dr. Ree said, um, most importantly, reach out to your professor right away. Um, if there's any issues, don't wait till the last week of class. 
Um, if something pops up, uh, definitely build a relationship with your professor. I promise you it'll be beneficial to you in the end. Great. How about you, Professor Owens? <laughs> Hi there. My thing is make sure that you know how to cite your sources and don't plagiarize, please. Thank you. <laughs> Great advice. Is Debbie Clark still with us? <laughs> she can... I'm still here. Great. Give us some last words of wisdom for the students. Well, I'm going to ditto what um, Professor Owen said, because that is part of beginning keyboarding. Yay. Um, again, reach out to your professors, especially if you're having personal issues. Um, say a new baby's coming along. You're going to be out for a while. Reach out to your professor. We're understanding, um, you know, just as long as we know, uh, hopefully we can work something out with you. It usually falls into place, um, but you've got to speak with us. We, you, we can't read minds. Now, some days I can, but today is not one of those days. Um, so make sure you speak with whoever your professor is for that particular course or courses. Bruce, can I say one more thing? Um, sure. you know, it's a writing center. I've had a couple of students this past semester really utilize the writing center by sending their research paper in or their case studies in, and they get feedback within 24 hours. And it's it, when I tell you the feedback has really made a difference in the students' grades because they will help you cite correctly. Uh, like uh, Professor Owen said, they will help you write accordingly. They'll correct any grammar. Um, so definitely use it. It's free. It, I mean, I don't know how to express this, but it will make a difference in your in your grades. I promise you. There you go. Uh, we had a question on uh, how to get around campus. Uh, Shania, if you will do me a favor and send me an email, I will send you a campus map via PDF form and with all the new building numbers on there, and that will help you get around campus. There's my email address, so just send me an email and I will return an attachment with a campus map on there for you. And uh, for uh, the hospitality student who had a question, uh, about uniforms and so forth. If you want to make sure of that and other questions, there is the hospitality phone number at 254 526 1515, and uh, they will be able to help you with any uniform questions or, or, or those kind of things. So, again, uh, we want to just make sure that you are squared away on that first day. So. And I have one final thought as well. I promise it's the final one. Um, but just in line with the plagiarism and citing your sources. A lot of students don't realize that we have tools to check for this. So when you submit your assignments and you might have gone to Course Hero or Chegg or I don't even know how many are out there now, it sends us directly to the link that it was received from. It shows us word for word what was used and what wasn't. So if you choose to go down that path, which we are discouraging you from doing that, um, you will get you will get caught. So um, not that anybody on this um, call would have done that, but definitely something to keep in mind um, and make sure to tell your peers as well. So we do have a safe assign, um, which is a plagiarism checker. Great, good advice. Also, uh, Maricelli Vargas Student Life Director was kind enough to put the link for the campus map in the chat. So Shania, if you can just cut and paste that link, that will be easy, or you can email me either way. So not a problem. So either way. So. All right, guys, uh, last round of questions, uh, last chance. All right, well, we certainly appreciate you all being here. Thank you for taking the time and we wish you success on this semester here at CTC and throughout your educational career and moving on past CTC. So, um, uh, Charlotte, Marcel, any last words for you or? Um, yes, Bruce, I'd like to add, um, from a student success perspective, um, we do have in the academic studio, we have um, tutoring, we have free tutoring. So please take advantage of that uh, service and come and see the tutors. We have most subjects um, available for tutoring. So just come and check us out. And even if, um, you know how as a first time student, you're not sure how to get started, how to navigate through that syllabus, Come and meet with our tutors or even come and meet with me and I can help set you on a path of success, if you will. So please, we're here to ensure that you're successful in your classes and each and every semester. 
As for me, I want to say, welcome, Eagles! We're excited that you're here. We can't wait for to see you and to have you. Um, we put a lot of effort into putting these programs together and making sure that we have the best faculty and staff here for you. So take advantage of everything we have for you. Um, we, a lot of services are free. You don't get that very often. And if you don't take advantage of them, then what ca else can we do? It's free. It's for you guys. <laughs> That's why you're here. Um, so please, please, please contact us. Let us know how we can help you. Um, communication is key. Check your emails, all of that. Um, and welcome. We'll see you around soon. Great. And guys, don't forget to apply for that free money. <laughs> you guys have a great afternoon and thank you all so much for being here. Take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Hey, Jennifer, I forgot to say hello to you.